Hello everybody, Matt here, and welcome to another video. Today I have the very first real video since making my return to YouTube, and uh, this is going to be my first uh, review, and very first sneaker review, in fact. Uh, I talked a lot about uh, my channel going forward in my video I just uploaded a few hours ago, announcing my return to YouTube. I will link it in the description below if you plan on staying subscribed. I highly recommend you going check checking it out, so that way you have a feel of what my channel is going to be. Uh, and in that video, I talked about possibly doing sneak reviews, and a couple hours later, we find myself uploading a video uh, of a sneak review. And today, as you can tell by the title, uh, in case you didn't see it, I am uh, reviewing the Nike SB Stefan Janoski Maxes. Now, this is my first time ever doing a sneak review, so uh, please bear with me. Hopefully, it won't be terrible. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. But anyways, let's get right into review. Now, as you can see here, we have this uh, the shoe right here, um, and obviously, it's uh, it's the Stefan Janoski, and I have it in this uh, black and white uh, colorway, mostly white, but we do have the uh, the black uh, Nike symbol right there and the black patch with the white stitching. Obviously, the trademark for Stefan Janoski is the patch there. And uh, we, we have a very simple shoe and a very simple colorway, though there are many colorways, both in this and the regular Stefan Janoskis. And I might even do a future review if I get a lot of support on the uh, sneaker reviews. I might even review my regular Stefan Janoskis because I do have two pairs of those. But anyways, uh, I don't want to get sidetracked here and start talking about those. Let's talk about the Air Maxes right here, this Nike SB Stefan Janoski Maxes. Now, um, like I said, we have it in a very simple colorway. There are many colorways, and some of them are very exquisite. Uh, there, there's some colorways that are just out of the blue, and personally, I prefer the simple colorway right here, just black and white. Looks like a cookies and cream color. Um, very simple, like I said. Uh, so there's not really much to touch on the colorway. It's very simple on the black, uh, or on the inside. It's mostly black. We have, uh, white laces, which it came with. It only come, came with one pair of laces, and, uh, it is these nice, clean white laces. These have not been worn yet, in case you couldn't tell. They're very fresh. They've only been put on, um when I uh, tried them on in the store, and I'm only going to be putting them on at the end of this video when I do an on-foot uh, of it at towards the end of the video, because uh, I'm not going to be wearing these for another month. These are my uh, well, one of my brand new pairs of school shoes that I'm going to be saving for school. But uh, anyways, that's besides the point. Let's start talking about the shoe itself. So now that we've talked about the color of the shoe, let's start talking about the design itself. And first, I want to start with the clear Air Max right there, the Air Max symbol. And uh, it's uh, clear. I know it can come, uh, most of the time it, it's clear, and it could come in like a clear coated colors like I know there's a clearish blue and a clearish green the Air Max can come in all kinds of colors and they're not only on Janoski's in case you don't know much about shoes that uh, there's lots of the uh, the Air Max even have their own shoe and uh, it's on a lot of Jordans as well but uh, they are obviously here on the Janoski and this is the main feature of the shoe right here obviously it adds a lot of comfort and this right here automatically makes the shoe price uh, uh, go thirty dollars up from the regular ones. I mean, this is the main point. If it didn't have this, this shoe would probably retail for just as much as the regular ones did, and uh, probably a lot of people wouldn't buy it. But uh, anyways, uh, in case we're wondering the price, it did retail for a hundred and ten dollars. The regular ones retail for eighty five, so that that's uh, that's a twenty five dollar difference, but close enough to thirty. Uh, I know I said thirty, but anyways, let's start talking about the design. I love how it's clear. I think if it was any other color, even a, a clearish black, I don't think it would have meant. Uh, went in. I think uh, clear is the perfect color for it. Obviously, it adds to a lot of comfort, which of course is why the price goes up as well. Uh, I ha I did try them on, like I said, in the store, and they're very comfortable. Um, though I haven't worn them all day, but I have heard good things about uh, the Janoskis right here on how comfortable they are. And the regular ones themselves are very comfortable, so I have no doubts that these won't be comfortable. Uh, like I said, we have the patch right here, the black patch with the white stitching. Obviously, it says Stefan Janoski on it. Uh, it's it's the trademark for all Janoskis. They, ha or they all have them. They have to have them if you want to call it a Janoski. And uh, it's a very simple design. Like I said, uh, it's very simple. A simple colorway and a simple design. There's not really much to talk about the shoe, as you can see on the, bat on the bottom. It's mostly white other than the black right here. Uh, we have the cracks right here, which I think looks nice. Uh, if it was all solid, just like the regular ones, uh, I don't think it would have looked nice. So the cracks definitely uh, make it look nice. And it also makes the shoe 
shoe more flexible. Obviously, it's not stiff because it hasn't been worn yet. And then this material right up here adds a lighter material to the shoe uh, on the upper foot part. And uh, it's, it makes it a lot more comfortable, makes it lighter to wear. Uh, these are a very light shoe, not heavy duty whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a very simple design. There's not really much you could talk about it. The the um, flap right up here is, uh, uh, unlike most shoes where that you can like move, it's like attached, it's like it's stitched to the shoe. Um, so yeah, there's not really much you could talk about the design. I wanted to talk about the laces real quick uh, because I know that uh, it's, like sometimes people, they find themselves, uh, depending on what kind of shoe they have, they find themselves curious to how they should tie their shoes to what looks nice and what looks best uh, when it comes to lacing or tying your shoes. And there's three real main ways you could do it. One is tying them normally, which is how most shoes are wear, worn, uh, all runners are worn like that, uh, and most, most shoes are worn like that. Then you have the laces, which come out all... Oh, um, like a little bit. That's how most basketball shoes are worn. And then you could also tuck the laces, which is how most skate shoes are worn. And while these are a skate shoe, because technically they're a skate shoe, I would ne personally, I would never skateboard in them because I don't want to ruin them. Uh, skateboarding would, would rip them and stuff. Uh, the regular ones, yes, but definitely not the Air Maxes. But they are considered a skate shoe because Nike SB stands for Nike Skateboarding. So technically they are a skate shoe, but I would not recommend if you want to keep these nice and clean and you don't want to rip them, you don't want to ruin them, do not skate in them. But uh, anyways, most skate shoes are uh, worn when you tuck the laces in. You easily tuck them in like that, and then you push them to the end, and then you just slip them on like slippers. That's the most comf comfortable way to, uh, or comfortable way, <laughs> I got my tongue twisted, uh, but that's the most comfortable way to wear um, skate shoes, because if you just tuck them right here into the heel it'll bother your heel at least for me uh so the best way is to tuck them all the way in to the toe but uh i, I personally uh most skate shoes are worn like this but i would this goes for the regular ones too and the air maxes i think these look perfectly fine when you tie them i know a lot of skate shoes such as the vans old school and uh plethora more they kind of look like clown shoes when you tie the laces and these uh these laces are too long to do the like the one that uh have the laces come out like most basketball shoes are worn and i would never even if the laces were shorter i wouldn't recommend that for this shoe but uh i would either tuck them or tie them but for but for me, I think most Janoskis, and you'll I tie mine, uh, I'm going to tie mine when I do the on foot at the end of the video, but uh, I highly recommend it. I think it looks perfectly fine. Uh, with other shoes, like I said, they might look like clown shoes, but I think with these and the regular Janoskis, you are perfectly fine to tie them. Um, it's just, you know, the, the um, bunny ears and stuff, perfectly and nice to tie. Now, obviously, you clicked on this video for a reason, whether it's you plan on picking up these shoes in the future, or maybe uh, you're just looking for a new pair of shoes to get, or and you're browsing YouTube to find some uh, videos uh, uh, to look at some shoes. But anyways, I you clicked on this video for a reason. And if you made it this far in the video, I've talked about the shoe itself, but I want to talk about a few more things about the shoe uh, that, that don't necessarily regard the shoe itself. And one of those things is how you should match it. I already talked about... Uh, how, how I personally what I think would look best tying them wise and I say either tucking them or tying them but I also wanted to talk about what would match well and I also I pulled out this shirt here I bought this shirt when I picked up the shoes because when I saw this shirt right here uh, there's a closer look at it when I saw this shirt I automatically thought in my head this with some black cargo shorts or some Nike SB shorts because they do sell Nike SB shorts this with some black shorts whether they're cargo or Nike SB with these shoes and some white or white or black Nike socks it doesn't matter which um, I thought that would be perfect for the full first day of school outfit and that's why I picked this shirt up and I wanted to give you guys some tips on what you what I think personally will match best and obviously I'm not telling you guys to go out and buy this exact same shirt uh, but I'm, I wanted to give an example because Personally, with these, these are a white and black color, and I think the best colors to wear with them are white and black, definitely. I know, like, with some blue shoes, like, say say you have a pair of blue shoes. I pulled these out because I want to talk about these in a couple minutes uh, after I talk about what you should match with them. But as you can see, this this is a blue colorway right here, blue and white. And this would look nice with like some with what I'm wearing right now, even though I have no blue in my outfit. This would still look nice. And I know what I'm trying to say here is... is a lot of shoes you can get away like the, even though I have no blue in my outfit this would still look nice but I personally think you should keep it all black or all white in the outfit when you're wearing these um 
I, uh, maybe some jeans you can wear them with, or maybe some uh, long skateboarding pants and stuff, um, some cargo pants um, that you could pick up at like PacSun and stuff, or Zoomies and stuff, you know those types of pants. Um, maybe with some other colored t-shirts and stuff, but personally I would stick to black and white. I think that's your best bet here. Um, when it comes to matching, I would definitely stick to black and white, keeping it simple. Uh, nothing too out of the blue, nothing too crazy, just black and white, keeping it simple, staying with the colorway of the shoe. And I just a minute ago, I pulled out these. And the reason I pulled out these is because I wanted to do a little quick comparison when it comes to dirtying your shoes. Because as you can see here, these are beat up. I've had these since December. Uh, this is, was, was my first pair of Janoski's. Uh, I actually have a second pair of the regular ones, which I have not worn yet. I'm saving those for school as well. That is the second of four pairs that I have saved away for school that I'm going to be wearing in a month. I plan on getting one more, and uh, I might even do a ton of reviews with those because I have like over 20 different pairs of shoes, and... Um, I don't really consider myself a sneakerhead because I only started uh, caring about shoes about a year ago. Uh, but in the future, I do see myself eventually becoming a sneakerhead. And while uh, skateboarding shoes aren't technically uh, sneakerhead shoes, uh, I, I still have them in my collection. Um, mainly when uh, you talk about sneakerheads. Uh, basketball shoes come to mind and stuff. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. I wanted to talk about these really quickly. I didn't want to make the video too long, like I said earlier. So uh, what I wanted to talk about is dirtying your shoes. Because obviously, with some shoes like these and like some Vans and stuff, they look perfectly fine when you dirty them. Most skate shoes look nice when they're dirty. Uh, I mean, they look nice when they're clean too, but they they also look very wearable. See, these are very dirty. They're beat up. I've skated in them, and I, I recommend, if you're a skateboarder, I highly recommend and these uh, if you could get them on sale you can I did not get these on sale but I got the other ones that I have on sale you can find a lot of Janoski's on sale uh, I did pay retail for these which is $85 but uh, I just wanted to compare the two because I, I imagine in your mind like put this right here just imagine take all this dirt and put it on this shoe I just wanted to make the point out that I would not skate in these whatsoever and I would try to keep them as clean as you can because when I'm probably going to be wearing these to school I'm probably going to be really cautious whereas these I could wear these and I wouldn't care if people stepped on them and stuff but I think these you definitely need to keep clean if you plan on getting these definitely invest in some sneaker cleaner I do have uh so I, I don't recommend any specific brand I do have some that I got from champs um but that's just what I wanted to say really quickly um, is I, I just wanted to get the point out that I know a lot of skate shoes look nice when you dirty them, but do not get these dirty. These look nice when they're nice and clean, as you can see. And uh, let's uh, that's all I have to say. You can definitely see how nice they'll look when I do the on foot at the end of the video. But yeah, and that's uh, basically all I have to say uh, about um, the Janoskis. I've really t or the Janoski Max. Um, I've really talked about all that I. Uh, think I can so far. Uh, if you guys uh, like the video, I, I don't want to make it like a 20 minute video because I remember a couple months ago I tried doing a sneaker review and it ended up, the video ended up turning 20 minutes long. So I don't want to have another repeat of that. I don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, I've, I still have to go back and edit it. But uh, anyways, thank you all for watching. I'm going to cut it here and I'm going to go to the on foot. If you guys want to see more sneaker reviews, please uh, give me some feedback in the comment section. If you would, please. It would mean a lot to me if you left a like. Um, I, I, I never gave, I never done a sneaker review before other than what I said, uh, 20, uh, the 20 minute one that I tried a couple months back, but I never uploaded it, so I don't count that. So this is really my first time doing a sneaker review, and plus that one was really bad. So hopefully I did better this time around. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you would, like I said, please give it a thumbs up. Makes me know that you guys, uh, uh, are, are liking the videos. And I have a bunch of other, uh, reviews and reactions coming in the future, reaction reviews, uh, cause that's all my channel is going to be. Like I said, check out the, uh, return video if you plan on staying a subscriber. And speaking of that, if you haven't subscribed yet, it would mean a lot to me if you want to see more of my future videos to subscribe. But anyways, let's go to the on foot. Thank you all for watching once again, and I will see all of you next time.